Hey, Laura Brandenburg here from Bridging the Gap. And today I want to talk about data analysis and data modeling uh, and business intelligence roles and data related requirements in business analysis roles. So it's a big topic, but we're really just going to hit the key points because we've been receiving just a ton of questions at Bridging the Gap about how to define a career path in business analysis. Is data analysis required? Is the role being overcome by business intelligence roles? And really the key to kind of interpreting what's happening in the job market, as well as defining where you wanna go in your business analysis career, comes down to the distinction between data modeling and data analysis. So let's talk about what those mean and then look at what it means for you in your business analysis career. So first is data analysis. Let's talk about what that means. Data analysis is evaluating the data itself. It's doing things like running reports and customizing reports, creating reports for business users, um, using queries to look at the data, maybe merging data from multiple different sources to be able to tell a better and more informed story than you can when you look at each source independently. And that kind of skill set, it takes definitely some business acumen, right? You have to understand what the data means to the business, but it also takes a lot of technical skills. You really need to know whatever database system your organization uses. You need to be able to use those queries. A lot of times somebody in that kind of role is actually using a data warehouse or business intelligence system to run those reports. And so you would need to know the ins and outs of that particular system in order to use it effectively to tell a story with the data. Okay, so that's data analysis. Let's talk about data modeling. Data modeling evaluates how an organization manages data. And on a typical software project, you might use techniques in data modeling like an ERD or entity relationship diagram to explore the high level concepts and how those concepts relate together across the organization's information systems. You might create a data dictionary that details field by field, you know, what are the, are the pieces of information we need to store in this database in order to meet the software requirement features or to implement this business process change. You might create a data map that shows how we're going to move data from one system to another system uh, or how we're going to integrate and make those systems talk to each other on an ongoing basis in order to make a particular feature or business process available to our community. So modeling, again, is evaluating how that organization manages data on an ongoing basis as opposed to like looking into the details of the data itself. Now, here's where it gets tricky because data modeling requires a little bit of data analysis, right? In order to say this field is going to map to this field in a systems integration project, you probably need to look at the data and understand how the data is put together. And um, you know, this is why we see some job descriptions requiring concepts or technical skills like SQL, because if you know SQL and can query the database, it's a little bit easier to be able to research that information and figure it out for yourself using a little bit of data analysis to inform your data models. However, there's a lot of technical professionals or a lot of business analysis professionals, myself included, who don't, don't use NoSQL or don't use it regularly. Like maybe they know it but aren't granted access to the database. That comes up too. And so you have to rely on some other skills to get that information. For me, it's been a lot about collaborating with the technical professionals, asking questions, sometimes asking for sample data so they could create a, a dump of some of the, the records in a spreadsheet format that I could review and look for so I could find you know potential data mapping or modeling issues. So I'm able to analyze the data without actually having to know how to analyze the data in the database itself. Uh, so that's where we start to see a little bit of the overlap and there's some confusion. Another way, a reason that there's some confusion is because there's this increased abundance of roles that are really combined business intelligence 
guests, experts with business analysis roles. Because the competencies that we just talked about, while they're separate skill sets, really do go hand in hand. If you can model the organization's data and analyze that data and you know, to create more intelligence inside the business, that's a really powerful skill set. And we're seeing a lot of roles really pull those two things together. Sometimes, and a lot of times, they actually have the business analyst job title, which actually just adds to the confusion, right? So, you know, you'll look at, you know, oh, it's a business analyst. Oh, wait, this is this is more of a business intelligence analyst. Why isn't it given the business intelligence analyst role? And that's just because business analyst job titles are used in multiple different ways, not just here, but in particular here in this area where it can be really confusing when you're first looking at job descriptions. So it is a very um, popular growing field to to have a business intelligence area of expertise. It doesn't mean that you have to have it to succeed as a business analyst. We're still seeing a lot of more general functional business analysis roles out there. And so it's a choice that you can make if you are really into that kind of thing, for sure. Business intelligence is a ripe field with a lot of career potential. But if you're not, there's still going to be opportunities for you. And regardless, the data modeling is a really important competency to have because you need that if you're working on a business intelligence project. You need it if you are implementing any kind of software or business change to make sure those information systems are really capturing and storing the right data to meet that end business need um, that you're, you're trying to get to with your project. So a crash course on some different data related skills, why we see confusion in the business analysis job marketplace. Uh, hit me up with any questions about this by leaving a comment below. And again, Laura Brandenburg from Bridging the Gap, and we help mid career professionals start business analyst careers. Thanks for watching.